This is a Showtime Championship Boxing Report update with Bill Boggs. Hi, we are in the lobby of the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas on the day of the biggest fight day in boxing history, Holyfield Tyson 2. Tonight, buzzing through the crowd, the question, can Mike Tyson turn back Evander Holyfield, the man who conquered him before? With us right now is a man who will be ringside tonight on the pay-per-view broadcast, the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco. How are you doing? It's, always it's a wonderful to be here in a, in a big fight. What do you think about the big question that these people are asking themselves? Can Tyson turn back the man who conquered him? Yeah, I, I think uh, the capsule is that Evander Holyfield fought a most perfect fight last time, but Tyson fought the worst fight. I don't think Evander Holyfield can get any better than perfect. I mean, he fought the best he can do. On the other hand, Tyson fought the worst, so therefore he has to come up. One thing that's great about these big fights with the fans watching now, everybody watching now, whether you're a fan or not, the week itself takes on a tremendously colorful and intense character. Never bigger, never more intense than this week. Let's just take a look at some of the sights and sounds of fight week. Absolutely crazy here in the media tent. Everybody's ready, the sound and the fury, everybody's here. That's why we're here. There are over 700 print journalists and over 500 TV and radio broadcasters on site. That's the usual bizarre circus scene of a heavyweight title fight. Did you make a mistake in the first fight? I lost the first fight. That's the biggest mistake there is. <laughs> oh, this is just crazy. It has been a tremendous week. I can't let you, the fight doctor, get out of here without a doctor's prediction. Tonight, what's going to happen? All right, I'll split it up. Here's, here's my prediction. Tyson wins by a knockout in five. That's my prediction. But the ultimate winner of this whole thing is Don King. <laughs> win or lose, he's going to win. It's a great fight for the fans, and you can see Holyfield, Tyson, too, tonight, live on pay-per-view. This is a Showtime Championship Boxing Report update with Bill Boggs. We're here in the lobby of the MGM Grand Hotel on the day everyone has been waiting for, Holyfield, Tyson, too. A heavyweight championship rematch that has a possibility to rank with the great heavyweight championship rematches in boxing history. Dempsey Tunney, Lewis Schmeling, Ali Frazier. We'll find out tonight. There's so much attention on the big men. Holyfield Tyson has a tendency to overlook the undercard. And here to talk to us about the interesting undercard is our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. It's showtime day. It's showtime. I can't wait for this big fight card. You're right, we're all here to see the uh, heavyweight championship of the world, the sound and the fury, but certainly we can't forget the undercard. It is a very interesting undercard. What makes it interesting to you? Well, we're going to start off with Miguel Angel Gonzalez versus Roberto Granciosa. We are looking at the number two super lightweight in the world, Miguel Angel Gonzalez. We're looking to see how good is he, what's he going to look like when he meets Chavez. So we're going to be looking to see how is he going to compare against Chavez's performance. But well, let's talk about Chavez. Chavez, a great champion, but on the way down, it would appear. Certainly past his prime. He's, yeah. he's had uh, over 100 fights now. But what makes this fight interesting, yeah. he's looking for his 100th victory. Wow. He's looking to be the pride of Mexico still, el gran campeón mexicano. I look for Chavez to win this one fairly easy, but he has to look good to be number one in Mexico, number one in the world still. On each of the Mike Tyson heavyweight championship pay-per-view undercards, the coal miner's daughter, Chrissy Martin, has been fighting a great fan favorite, a great crowd pleaser. Tonight's fight's a little different, though, in terms of there's a real duel here between these. There's a real genuine bad blood with Andrea Deschamps. She has a way of stealing the show, doesn't she? We, we have the, the whole fight card, and somehow people remember Christy Martin. I think it's going to be a good fight. This is the third meeting in rubber match against she and Andrea Deschamps, the only woman to beat Christy Martin. Christy Martin wants revenge tonight and show the world that she is the women's pound for pound champion. Well, Jimmy Lennon Jr., I will be waiting for you to give the ringing endorsement of It's Showtime moments before Holyfield Tyson 2 tonight. Thank Thank you for being with us here. And don't forget, you can see Holyfield Tyson 2 live on pay-per-view tonight.